What's up, man? Just bugging. So guys, we got the 66 Wannabe right here, and I know it's been a while since you guys have seen it. There's a few videos that I haven't had the chance to get out yet, such as the reasons why the 66 Wannabe has been down. One was going to Wagtail with Lakuchi. Second was going to the Vita factory. It is March 30th and it's been down since January 16th, which was the Vita factory show. We were heading to it and sadly it got stuck in first gear. And we dropped a transmission, played Russian roulette with a few different VW transmissions, trying to figure out which one was actually going to work. The transmission that's in it now, there's a video that's not out yet, and it's where Sergio, if you guys remember him with the private museum, he gave us a free Berry Mini T dune buggy. which you guys will see in a future video. And it happened to have an IRS transmission on it. And it's been sitting in the backyard for a while. We have no idea about the condition of it. So, you know, of course, change the gear oil and everything. And now it works great. You know, now it shifts like a dream. So the 66 Wannabe is back on the road. And another thing is you guys may be wondering what's going on here. Well, we got a stereo. So let me tell you about this. I'll pop up some pictures to show you guys, but this was the rear shelf out of Albert Moon, my first Beetle. So what I did, cleaned it all up. I got these two six by nine speakers, Pioneers. They are from 1987, brand new in the package. Guy had them for 20 bucks on Saturday at Lakeland. Then he dropped them down to $10 and I bought them on Sunday. Got them for $10. 66 wannabe girl. 66 go boom, boom. Yes. Sweet deal right here. I looked them up on eBay. There's only one pair left, but it's crazy. From 1987, paper cones, brand new. After cutting the holes bigger from 6x5s to 6x9s, installing the speakers, and uh, doing this nice wrap, and, and you know just painting this, because this was brown before, I got some cable management here to do. Yesterday, I ran cables, and this middle cable is for a sub at some point we're going to do, and install an amp. Yeah, a few weeks ago, I happened to come across this Kicker 10-inch sub at the Webster swap me in Webster, Florida. And the guy wanted $50 for it. He said it was brand new. He bought it to install it in a truck and he ended up selling the truck and the guy didn't want the sub so he removed the sub. And it's a great sub and we really want to install it but sadly with the enclosure and how big it is with the rear speaker shelf being back there now it didn't want to fit back there. So we're going to be taking the sub out of the enclosure putting three pieces of wood in there making our own enclosure and fitting that 10 inch sub with a 500 watt amp later on down the line. But that's that. And then down here you got the stereo. So the stereo right here is a Pioneer DEH S31BT. I bought it for $7.99 at Goodwill. It had no rear connector for it. So I looked up the connector on Amazon, bought it for $11.99. Then I'm pretty sure I bought this under the dash, kind of like doom buggy style radio mount for $13. And then I bought this rectangle antenna for $7. I'll put all the links down in the description. Whole setup right there is $45. I'm gonna clean this all up, glue here, glue there, wait for it to tack, put it up, and then it'll be good to go. And she's alive. Yep, the 66 Wannamy's back on the road. I'll give you guys a whole tour when I'm done doing all the wiring. Well, I'm done. Done vacuuming it out. Haven't put in the rear seat yet. Gonna put that in at some point. I've glued some extra stuff up here that's been hanging. That looks sweet over there, doesn't it? Look, all the wires are gone. You can't even see them. I mean, you can see one wire for the antenna, but here, let me play some music for you. Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? When you have this seat down, it sounds so flat. Once you sit the seat, it makes a whole nice little box. It's great. The acoustics in a Beetle are like no other vehicle. Sound systems in Beetle sound really good. Well, I've been wanting a horn. We've owned this car for a year and a couple weeks now, and we've never put a horn on it, but we just found a horn. We just found a horn laying around, and we didn't hook this up, but <laughs> we got a little temporary button for this weekend. 
<laughs> hey guys, it's Dalton. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I just wanted to make this short little video to show you a little bit of progress on some things we did to the 66 Wannabe. My dad also did install a hard start relay so it's easier to start up. And the sound system for balling on a budget for $51 sounds pretty good to me. As of right now, the 66 Wannabe is good for the 53rd Herbie anniversary. So yeah guys, stay tuned for the next video. The next video will be our experience at the 53rd Herbie anniversary, attending the car show at the Tanger Outlets in Daytona. And then the next video after that will be us racing on the Daytona International Speedway with the 66 Wannabe and having a great time in Daytona. Also, after the Herbie videos are done, we will continue our regular scheduled program of the 1972 Super Beetle, Peter's car, the last episode, and also the 1971 Blue and Black last episode. So yeah, guys, stay tuned for those videos. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, comment down below, and have a just bugging of a day.